Hey gang, Kara Head Slaughter here. Real quickly, I wanna share my top five tips on how to have a successful heavy single training day. Tip number one, chill on the pre-workout. Heavy single days are exciting. They're, they're what we want to do, right? That's where we get to let it all out. You already should be excited and heightened on that day. Pre-workout is making athletes excited, they're already excited, um, or it's amping up their nervousness, or it's amping up their anxiousness, or it keeps their, it gets their thoughts moving really quickly, faster than what their body can actually do. So they're, they'll, they'll come off the platform saying, oh, I just rushed that, or, or I don't know what happened, I just got ahead of myself. Pre-workout isn't gonna make up for inconsistent technique, it's just not. It might make you feel elevated, you know, it might make you feel better in terms of your mood, but it's not gonna correct um, issues with technique or consistency. Number two, failing to eat and hydrate properly on heavy single day. Like sleeping in, fine, you need to recover, but then not eating and drinking properly. Then by whatever time you work out, you haven't had that much to eat. Who knows why? It makes no sense. Please eat and hydrate properly. Number three, don't overthink the movements as you're lifting. Athletes that are learning to lift um, put great focus on proper movement and technique to improve the movement. Here's where I wanna help. For that athlete that's working on proper movement and focusing the movement, focusing on their movement and training it properly, I wanna release you from that when you go heavy. So heavy single day is an expression, if you think about it, this is one way to think about it, of the training throughout the week. So whatever focused training you've done to improve your movement through the week, allow it to express itself on Saturday. So whatever you've worked in throughout that week and week after week after week, that is what we expect to see on Saturday, up to a certain point, okay? We know the technique is probably gonna break down. It's gonna vary, but over 70% if you're a newer lifter, maybe over 80% if you're an intermediate lifter, and 85, over 85 or 90, over 90 type, 92% maybe if you're an elite lifter, okay? So you really can't think on a heavy single day. It makes you slower. It makes you slower. You know that you need to pick up speed and accelerate. My coach used to say two speeds, right? So in a snatch, Peak acceleration happens from the hip. We gotta take off from the hip. If we're like, and uh, from there I have to do this, and then from there I have to do this, you are slower, it's not gonna work, stop doing that. Four, missing several times. No more than two misses over 85%. Don't do it. Don't train yourself to miss over 85%. Because what it does is it gives you a false sense that you can get out to that number in a competition, right? But if you lack uh, consistency and you made this amazing weight but you missed like five times on the waves that got you there uh, you're not consistent okay learn from your misses and make the adjustment here's my notes being dramatic for the sake of being dramatic isn't a fix it's a response you get to have it nothing wrong with an emotional response nothing wrong with it so long as you have the energy to have that emotional response, if it's crying, if it's anger, and there's like this super spike in energy because your emotions are just like blowing up all over the place, you're still gonna need to know how to fix it, okay? If it's just drama, it's not okay. Because we can't do anything with that. Training is to prepare you for competition. So whatever happens in training should be the re rehearsal for how you plan to compete. Whatever happens in training should be the rehearsal for how you plan to compete. One more time. Whatever happens in training should be the rehearsal for how you plan to compete. So if you're having emotional breakdowns, laying all over the floor, da 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 da, okay, that could stand from time to time, provided you're the athlete that also, here's the catch, knows how to make the fix and has demonstrated success in making the fix. Then you kind of do whatever you want because you figured out how to express yourself and fix it. If you're the athlete that has a lot of drama, not followed by any type of uh, adjustment to improve the technique, the drama and the way that you're training 
as not serving the purpose of making you a better competitor. So even if you see the elite athletes doing it, even if you see that, what they may have that you don't currently have is an ability to fix it and dominate. If you don't have those two pieces on the end, just close the gap on how much emotional response and drama you're creating and you need to more quickly step over that and get to how do I fix this? Okay, that's all. See you next time.